record against any team in the major leagues when facing the Astros at one and six as he delivers inside. That's what Plummer was talking about trying to establish fastball in and misses in. It's one and oh. Full count pitch. And Altuve takes a close one. He's called out. Will Little says that was on the inside corner for a call third strike. Use that cutter to get in on the hands. Swing and a miss as he gets the change up on 3-2. Marco Gonzalez strikes out Altuve and Bregman in a 1-2-3 inning. And 21 years old and Tom Murphy rounds out your lineup. First pitch swinging is Adam Frazier and he delivers a base hit. So on one pitch, the Mariners have a base hit from Adam Frazier to start the bottom of the first. And that start on Wednesday. This one tapped towards the mound and over the mound. Pena's going to have to hurry. He gets France. No chance to get Frazier, who advances to second. But France retired on the ground out to Pena for the first out of the inning. Checks Adam Frazier on second. The 2-2 pitch is in the left field. That'll be a base hit. Around third comes Frazier. Here comes a throw by McCormick. It is a little bit up the line. And the Mariners score the first run of the game. Jesse Winker, an off the field single for an RBI. 1 0 Seattle. We're on the brink of elimination from the playoffs. This ball rocketed up the middle for a base hit. Siri gloves it to his left and will hold Jesse Winker at second base. But the Mariners have three hits of the first four batters as Hanager delivers a line drive hit to center. Jake would then allow two more hits over the next three innings, but tonight the Mariners have three hits and now a hit batter. J.P. Crawford hit by that first pitch from Odorizzi, and that will load up the bases here with one out from scoring. That ball hit high in the air, playable for Jose Siri. Seattle Mariners will score a run, but leave the bases loaded in the bottom half of the first inning as Jake Odorizzi escapes further damage. One nothing ends. Tied every seat. The two pitch on the outside corner says Will Little. Kyle Tucker fell was off the plate. Marco Gonzalez gets the call for his third strikeout. The offense in either of those outings. As Siri tries to hold up and goes around, Marco Gonzalez another one-two-three inning. He has struck out four and retired the first six tonight. And he hits the ball hard. That's a base hit in the left field. Number three prospect in the MLB pipeline, Julio Rodriguez, with a clean single to the left. Mariners already have four hits tonight. On the ground, diving stop by Bregman. The second for one, the turn picked by Yuli for a double play. Outstanding around the horn double play. This ball in the center field, Jose Siri comes in and now he drifts back a little bit, puts it away for the final out of the inning. An initial hit, a great defensive play by Alex Bregman and Odorizzi faces the minimum in the second. I'm ready. Bring it, Seattle. You know, Bring it. <laughs> little tapper by Chaz McCormick and Chaz is going to have himself a base hit. Chaz has had four consecutive hits. Hits him. Wow. Right near that front elbow pad. Jeremy Pena hit by a Marco Gonzalez delivery and now. Back to the changeup for a swinging strike. That's five strikeouts for Marco Gonzalez and one out in the third, Julie. Ground ball towards Crawford. He spins it to second for one. Frazier's turn and Jose Altuve grounds into a double play to end the inning. GM kind of recognizing after a great year last year, how can we enhance this? And they went out and got Suarez. Jake Odorizzi. A row to try and pick up some of those W's. Try to hold up on a 1 2 pitch. Hanniger goes around, and Jake Odorizzi has his first strikeout of the night. Getting Hanniger there for the second out. JP Crawford now the batter. Crawford a little slowly hit towards the middle of the diamond. Pena on the move makes it look easy. That was not an easy play. And the young rookie covered a lot of ground to make that play on the opposing shortstop. A couple of three city trips. None of them had two off days other with the nine games. And there's Michael Brantley going the other way. And Uncle Mike with a leadoff base hit here in the fourth. Back to back innings where the Astros have had a leadoff base runner. Doesn't want to fall behind three of one. 
Tucker tried to hold up. He goes around, strikes out for the second time against Marco Gonzalez, and that'll do it for the Astros in the fourth. One hit, one man left on base. It's one nothing ends. And I've heard some teams with those three extra speakers they're able to put in some of the hats are going to put them in the shortstop, second baseman, and center fielder. Yeah. Just because those are the primary guys that can. Two and two the count runner on the go the pitch is low the throw by Maldonado and out at second base great pick by Altuve Machete guns down another And then Altuve with the pick at second made it look easy And Oda Rizzi issues a 3-2 pitch out of the zone to Julio Rodriguez. Yeah, think about it This ball hit hard to left field that's gonna be hit number five for the Mariners Tom Murphy Four for eight on the young season with that base hit Go to the plate. This ball hit well to right center field, splitting a gap. Siri on the move, won't get there. One run will score. Tom Murphy around third, he's going to score. Heading to third, Adam Frazier, and he's going to get there head first with a triple. Three nothing Mariners on the two RBI triple by Adam Frazier. This one popped in the air, shallow center field. Out goes Pena. Now Tuve, Pena takes charge and puts it away for the final out of the inning. But some two out damage done by the Mariners. A two RBI triple by Adam Frazier in his three nothing Seattle. 107th Mariner start, which came in his first start of the season. But he is pitching very well tonight in the second start as he gets a ground out here. Adam Frazier in the middle of the diamond in the shift makes the play. A quick one two three inning for Marco Gonzalez. And a little ball flared in the left center field. That'll go down for a hit. Winker will make a big turn, but Jose Siri will keep him at first base. That is hit number seven for the Mariners. Layoff. He played almost every day last year. He hits a ground ball for a base hit into center field, taking the turn and holding. It'll be Jesse Winker. That's now eight hits on the night for the Mariners and hitters that have reached base. Ground ball right side. Yuli will make the play to second. No chance for Pena to make the return throw. Crawford beats any potential throw as he was getting down the line. But a fielder's choice puts runners on the corners. Of 11. Ground ball towards Bregman's left. He makes the play. He bounces the throw to Altuve. They do get the force there. Don't know if there ever was a chance at a double play on. Kelnick sends one high in the air deep to right field Tucker has a beat on it right in front of the wall and puts it away Kelnick got a little bit underneath that it hits a deep fly ball to right for the final out of the inning But the Mariners add to their lead with a couple of hits and a run we are through five It is four nothing Seattle if you are struggling to get into any kind of rhythm Brantley sends one to center field we can talk more about that next inning, but another one two three inning for Marco Gonzalez, four of his six innings have been one, two, three, and the Astros still stymied. More often than not, but this is a stretch where the offense is getting a lot of help from the pitching staff and not producing much at all. Broken bat, base hit, passed Altuve in the right field. Heading to third is Murphy, Tucker no throw. Adam Frazier, a three-hit night. Little arm pump and check the runner at third. In the left field, pretty well hit. McCormick back. It's over his head and off the wall. Chaz crashes into the wall. Round third comes Adam Frazier. He's going to score two RBI double for Ty France. And now it's six nothing Mariners. That one off the glove of Martin Maldonado. That's not usually a pitch you'll see get away from Martin, but it escapes him here. Get rid of it after Odorizzi left. I, maybe it was just an Odorizzi thing. Could have been. There's the second walk of the inning. So the bats are waking up a little bit for the Seattle Mariners to go with that crowd who showed up. Towards short, a flip to Altuve, and they turn two on Mitch Hanniger. So Abreu allows a couple of runs, but gets out of further trouble with a double play ground ball to end the inning. Six nothing Seattle. Yuli Gurriel. Swings and sends one down the left field line. That is a fair ball on the line. And who else but Yuli would snap that string of innings without an extra base hit. Yuli now has six career hits against Marco Gonzalez. Five of them double. Ray in his career about five and a half against Houston. 
Tucker hits one high in the air, way up there, but playable. Mitch Hanniger camps under it. Yuli Guriel will tag. He'll get to third as Tucker flies out to right field for the second out. Julia. Broken bat, little flare to center field. Rodriguez comes on. He can't make the play. Astros have a run on the RBI single by Jose Siri. It is now six to one as Siri drives in a run. Another broken bat as the barrel flies all the way near the third base bag. This one playable for Julio Rodriguez. And that'll end the inning. But the Astros on the board with a couple of hits, including an RBI single by Jose Siri. They now trail by the score of six to one. Seventh inning stretch time. Ground ball the other way on an 0 2 pitch. JP Crawford doesn't hit it hard, but he singles in the left field. Crawford with his first hit of the night. He's had a hit in innings tonight. 3 2 pitches in just off the plate. It's going to be a walk to Suarez to put runners on first and second with nobody out. A little ball called. It's not going to help the cause. Greg Gibson, the crew chief, called it from first. Into center field. Siri will back up. Crawford will tag. He will come home to score. That'll be a line drive sack fly off the bat of Jared Kelnick, his third RBI of the season. And the Mariners add to their lead at 7 to 1. Yeah. 1 and 2 the count to Julio Rodriguez, and Baez gets him swinging. First strikeout for Pedro, two away in the inning. Now it's 3 and 2 on Murphy. And that is ball four. Pass ball misses away. Second walk of the inning. Only pitch here on Adam Frazier. Fly ball right field Tucker back on the move looking up and that ball is off the base of the wall two runs will score Adam Frazier his fourth hit of the night it is now nine to one Mariners Frazier it's been 95 to 96 in years leading up to the contract with the Astros but we have not seen that velocity from that right arm of Pedro Baez about it for Astros highlights tonight. This one chopped towards the right side. Blanco will glove it and make the tag on Winker himself, and that will do it for the Mariners in the seventh. But they tack on three more runs. They do so on two hits and three walks. The score is 9 1 Seattle. No Astro has a hit in their career against Johan Ramirez, and that stays that way with a 1 2 3 inning. Ramirez, a couple of flyouts and a strikeout of Altuve. We have a 9-1 game heading to the bottom of the eighth. Swing and a miss. Nice pitch right there on an 0-2 changeup. Got Hanniger fishing. Strikeout number one for Blanco. One out in the bottom half of the eighth. In 1968. That ball hits J.P. Crawford. That ball hit well. A. Eugenio Suarez gets into one, and that ball will be gone. A. Eugenio Suarez hits a two-run home run. His second home run is a Mariner. And that'll tack on two more to the Mariners' lead. It's now 11 to 1. Mariners have definitely flipped the script in this first game between the Astros and Mariners. Usually it's the Astros having a good time at the Seattle Mariners expense, but tonight it is at the Astros expense A couple of new guys in Frazier and Suarez introducing themselves to their new faithful up here in Seattle in a big way Strikeout on a changeup. Both strikeouts in this inning of Klein. And the only reason he was initially discovered was because of the prowess of the guy at the plate, Julio Rodriguez. So this time, the battle, first time ever in the major leagues, won by Ronel Blanco as he gets Rodriguez to ground out to end the eighth. 11 1 Mariners. We head to the ninth. Kind of disrupts everything that you're trying to get accomplished, but that's the nature of the big league. Some guys, it just doesn't affect. Some guys can go up there and hit Gosh. any kind of weather. 
Eli Gurriel being one of them, two for four now. Tried to hold up. That's the ball game. Tucker goes around for the final out on this nut. So the Mariners pick up the victory. 11 to 1, the final score. Astros now 4 and 3 on the season. The Mariners have now won two in a row. And they are 4 and 4 in 2022. We will have more coming up, including the postgame show right around the corner.